from the gospel according to Luke chapter 12 verses 54 to 59 Jesus said to the crowds when you see a cloud rising in the west you say immediately that it is going to rain and so it does and when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south you say that it is going to be hot and so it is you hypocrites you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky why do you not know how to interpret the present time why do you not judge for yourselves what is right if you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate make an effort to settle the matter on the way otherwise your opponent will turn you over to the judge and the judge hand you over to the constable and the constable throws you into prison i say to you you will not be released until you have paid the last penny it is truly christian wisdom to recognize these changes to be familiar with the different times to know the signs of the times to distinguish between the meaning of one thing and another and to do this without fear with freedom this is a task we usually don't do instead we conform we become tranquilized with they told me i heard people say i read and we remain comfortable instead we should ask ourselves what is the truth what is the message that the lord wants to give me with that sign of times for understanding the signs of the times first and foremost silence is necessary to be quiet to watch and observe and afterwards to think within ourselves for example why are there so many wars now why did this thing happen and to pray therefore silence reflection and prayer only then can we understand the signs of the times and what jesus wants to tell us times change and we christians must continually change we must change steadfast in the faith in jesus christ steadfast in the truth of the gospel but our approach must constantly move according to the signs of the times we are free through the gift of freedom that jesus christ gave us but our task is to examine what is happening within us to discern our feelings and our thoughts and to analyze what is happening around us to discern the signs of the times how can we do this with silence reflection and prayer